Welcome back to another episode of 7 Days to Die Alpha 18.4. Today we return, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. For some reason, our quest reset. I have no idea what that's about. As y'all might recall from the end of last episode, we cleared this place out a little bit, but whoa, at the same time, I am never a man to turn down more loot, more EXP, and more zombie head explosions. Cause you know me, we all about that explosive head, baby. But hopefully everyone's having an absolutely incredible day of the most amazing variety that only keeps on getting better from here on out. Whether that be from the video, bringing you a smile, bringing you a giggle, anything or everything like that does not matter to me how a little bit of joy might be able to make its way into your day today. I'm just crossing my fingers that that is exactly what does occur. And hello, antibiotics. I do not need these at the moment. Our inventory is looking so freaking full. Honestly, we might need to take slightly drastic measures because I am a stubborn hippopotamus and I didn't bring my mini bike. Why? The world may never know. Okay, start from two days ago is an entirely different land from the star of today. It's a miracle I get things done sometimes, truly. But what we're going to go ahead and do is actually, I got to go and put some stuff away for the time being. So I will put away the glue just for a moment so we can grab a little bit of wood. And we'll just make a temporary little loot chest over here so we can at the very least just kind of put some stuff away and get all the really good goods that await us inside of this. In addition to, of course, actually knocking out which is what i'm most excited for the quest itself that we are doing which should net us some pretty nice rewards and hopefully we'll be moving our way up to level three rewards sometime soon as well i could low-key kind of see that in our future i'm not gonna lie and i imagine the reward just continue getting exponentially better like seriously this is the first time i've been like staying on top of doing the quest for uh trader bob jimbo reno uh trader joel yeah Joel's his name. I don't know. He hasn't earned my respect after he teased me with a gyrocopter, a freaking helicopter with literally worth $100,000 that he knew I couldn't get. That's when he stopped being my best friend, man. Friendship with Trader Joel ended. All right. Oh, hello. Oh, is this? Oh, come on, zombie. I know you want to hit some of these landmines. Kaboom! You love to see it. Did that wake up everyone else? I think so. I hear footsteps. I don't blame the zombies. Explosions are pretty loud, to say the least. The army truck has a little bit of soup. I should probably make sure that we do have our lucky goggles equipped as we are doing this jazz. Let's go and clear out the bottom of this place, which tends to have some pretty good stuff as well. Just got to clear out some of the jazz in the way. And bloop, we'll be sliding our way into here. Toss on the nerdy glasses to ensure maximum EXP gain and maximum death of the military. How did you survive that, bro? I'm power swinging for the fences on your faces. And you're telling me surviving this is steel warhammer in my hands and oh no back it up bro that was getting a little bit sketchy just because i got stuck in this cave this is a rather tight squeeze i ain't gonna lie all righty now i do hear some zombies up above but i ain't too worried about that let's get the lucky goggles back and with all of this newly minted inventory room woo, we got the poop pistol that is truly the stuff of legends, comrades, and oh, we just learned how to make ourselves the foregrip mod a schematic. I'm a big fan of learning modifications because as we continue getting better weapons that ideally go up to level five and even level six, they will have more weapon modification slots, in which case I want to ensure that we are always capable of putting the best on. Speaking of which, if y'all guys and gals do, ooh, I learned how to make pumpkin seeds. What a glorious day. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I'm going to have some pumpkin pie ready to go for Thanksgiving this time around. And it does appear that there is airdrop nearby. Wow. I don't know if I'll justify or classify that as nearby, but it's somewhere kind of within the vicinity of this world. Yo, let's freaking go. Multiple armor modifications that are low key going to be huge. I believe both of these actually do fit for... Mm, where can we potentially put these on? I might be able to fit some over here, 
on uh no i did not mean to wear that i went to do modify we can actually toss the storage pocket mod onto this which is going to ideally when we wear this actually expand our storage capacity by an extra slot which will save us a little bit of just kind of stamina uh now this we can also put onto leg or chest armor and we do have some of that now the question is what are we going to get rid of here in our padded chest armor or our leather leg armor I'm not gonna lie, leather leg armor. I might get rid of the customized. Actually, no, that does save us stamina, so maybe not. I'll go ahead and toss that back on. But we're gonna continue looting this place up as soon as we kind of finish this uh, little very hard decision, hardest decision of my lifetime I need to make right here. Uh, I might just, I might get rid of the cool and mesh mod. This ain't the desert. I ain't having no heat stroke. We Gucci make show wagons because that lets us reload 30% faster, which is actually gonna be a huge modification, especially given the circumstances circumstances that it is day 13 day 14 is right around the corner and recently we have created the m60 light machine gun light machine guns have a lot of ammunition inside of them logically it takes them a little bit longer to reload and we have a lot of ammo stockpiled for it so we're gonna go a little bit loco and one of our main defense mechanisms well oh dude is there something secret behind this i got a hunch maybe maybe this looks like it's some kind of a vet. Honestly, listen, just for the sake of science, I do want to get on the other side of this. But in addition to that, back at home, we are continuing to smelt up a stockpile of steel for crafting the next vehicle within our lineage, the 4x4 truck, which we are going to have access to, which will greatly expand our just mobility. And nope, that just, just got some pipe waiting us on the other side. I wasn't looking for pipe tonight, game, but thank you for delivering it, I suppose. Well, let's get to collecting some of that gas through these barriers because gas is another thing that we were struggling oh baby big boom we were struggling with a little bit earlier but we started doing significantly better with did i put the shovel away i think i did all right that's unfortunate uh whatever that's just a little bit of concrete we're missing out on let's just see what's inside of this shipping crate then we'll go topside because i have a lot of things in store for today that i would like to get to okay nothing up in there we have a secret little duffel bag and alrighty, a quest to be the very best does continue. Do -do -do -do. What's up, zombies inside this building? Are you ready to die too? -do -do. Gotta kill them all. I forget the rest of the lyrics. You would try attacking me and I'll kill you. Mr. Broken Neck Zombie. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Seven days to die. I big derped, but it kind of worked out. I just learned how to make steel tools. Let's freaking go. Actually, no, I did the no, no, I did, I did, I, I should have had the lucky goggles on. I, I did an oopsie, but the oopsie was a, a, a doozy, like in a good way. So low key, not even mad. It was meant to be. It was my destiny to have those nerdy glasses on at that moment in time. Okay, there was something I could loot here. There we go. The iron desk is the weirdest looting hitbox. Dude, why are there so many nerdy glasses up in here? Nice pants, but no thank you, my good sir. Oh, can I put that cooling mesh mod into any other armor here? I have armor on literally everything else, so it does not appear to be the case until I do put better shoes on. Actually, I could just stockpile and this is actually a comment that I saw once we do fully repair this Apparently every extra modification we toss onto these boots Significantly raises their price so we might be able to finesse and literally sell multiple thousand dollar shoes That's right y'all we're gonna be opening up the post-apocalyptic Gucci store up in here and just selling Super over-the-top shoes with unnecessary modifications, but we'll be printing the moolah moolah so it'll all come together. Hello! Wakey, wakey! Eggs in the baby! On the outside here. Come on, zombies. I know you're on the inside there, buddy. Bop! How did I miss your face? There you go. I do part... I miss your face, but in a different way, because your face is no longer here. I miss seeing it. Psych! You're a zombie. I don't want to see that ugly mug of yours. All righty. Let's continue scrapping here and consolidating on a little bit of that room. Uh, do I have right the right... Okay, beautiful. I have nerdy glasses on. Oh, that's a lot of grain alcohol, though. You don't really care about the coal. Let's see what's inside of this crate over here. But yeah, the plan does continue. We obviously have this day 14 horde. It's kind of like this main roadblock that we got to prepare for a little bit. However, 
I don't think we gotta go super crazy on the defenses because of the weapons and modifications and especially that bandolier that we found. I do think that we are very well prepared. Very English hard? Very well prepared for some of the trials and tribulations that we can expect. Oh, no, 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 get in my belly, you freaking sham. And I'll get rid of the glass jars. Continue scrapping the cans. And honestly, I'll scrap the cooking pot too just to consolidate on some room. Eat up a little bit of chili. Eat up a little bit of stock and keep ourselves full on multiple fronts. The hydration nation side and also the starvation nation side. Um, I hear zombies outside. Oh, are you guys on the inside? Oh, you are. I was hoping you might hit some landmines. Woohoo! I said landmines. Do I look like a landmine zombie? Bruh. Do we need to have a PowerPoint presentation detailing what is a landmine and what is not? Slide number one, the wild star, not a landmine. Slide number two, everything inside of this field, landmines. What can I say? I am the greatest PowerPoint presenter in the universe. Two slides, I already got the idea across. What can I say? All my years of college are paying off and these PowerPoints are about to be on point. I'm sorry. I, 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 I had to. I had to. Please, I request your apologies. Or, uh, no. Am I the one? I, I don't know. It was a good joke. End of story. Now then, let's see what we got up in here. I know there's gonna be some dudes up in there. Potentially military ones. Hello, feral zombie. No, 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 no. I got some shotgun rain. <laughs> oh my god, you broke the floor. That's not cool, dude, but get over here. I got something pretty cool for you. It starts with shotgun and ends in rain. Some stay dry. The fair rolls feel the pain. Shotgun rain. You don't you don't deserve shotgun rain. But you know what? I'm feeling generous. You get some shotgun rain. You get some shotgun rain. Everyone gets some shotgun rain. I am the Oprah Winfrey. Of shotgun rain, baby. And there is the courier satchel, luckily still intact. Let's collect that. Uh, let's toss the lucky goggles back on, continue our little looting spree. Nice to see that we're recuperating some of this ammo that we have completely necessarily been blowing through. Can I please learn how to ladder? Thank you, game. Appreciate that. But no, I'm super excited to put some of these mods to the test, and especially that bandolier mod in conjunction with our M60 light machine gun. This day 14 horde, I got a feeling we're going to be putting some really good work into it, and we don't got to go too crazy on the defenses, especially as we do continue yeeting some zombies here or there, especially as we do continue ideally we're trying to actually level up which is a big thing that we're trying to do right now so we can actually learn better recipes and start installing a real proper defense system with like electricity powering our base turrets literally bop oh dude that dude was just did a break dancing move to get away from my range bop how am i missing your face kind sir okay i know how to not miss a face problem solved problem not solved Problem solved. What can I say? I'm a problem solver. Uh, that wasn't a problem I meant to solve, but I solved it too. I solved the extra credit problem, baby. What can I say? That's how good we are. That we could sell for a decent penny. Books do tend to sell rather well. I'll just get the scrap and the nails. Let's toss out some of the empty bottles. I will probably just scrap the pistol. That's going to be worth more, like the parts we get out of that, than actually selling the dang thing. Continue scrapping and saving up on some inventory room. Isn't there a weapons bag? Bro, there was a weapons bag up in these rafters before. Ah, there she is. Let's make sure we got the lucky goggles on and let's loot her up. I hold up. Okay, there we go. And there we go. Nothing too incredible. We got some ammo though. I'm just scrapping the bow, pistol bullets. We have found a surprisingly nice supply of meat though. I didn't come into here expecting meat, but hey, we got it, baby. I mean, tons of ammunition. I know we missed behind a couple of bullet casings. Eh. NBD, not the biggest deal in the world. And all right, I th think that we have cleared out pretty much the entire location, gotten quite a nice haul out of it, and had our fair share of fun as well. I think we just got to double check this corridor here, make sure we didn't miss anything back here. And yeah, for the most part, I think we're looking good, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Let's make sure not to trigger any landmines on the way out. 
And uh, let's just kind of grab all the stuff that we want to grab. Stack everything that we'll stack. And besides that... Mm, hold up. Actually, impact bracing mod. That'll fit very nicely. Check it out. Like, this thing's 111 bucks. Once we toss this mod on, it now becomes 311. But when we repair the boots, it's going to get substantially better. So, there we go. We're actually consolidating on a little bit of storage room in that way. The rat remover, I'm going to keep. That's just kind of cool. Uh, let's definitely collect some of the ammo. Padded hoodie. What am I currently wearing? Man, the military helmet is just too good, man. I can't. I can't. Yeah, I might actually. All right, so I'm definitely... Oh, dude, we found a nicer wooden bow at some point, too. Almost completely missed that. But I'm definitely going to need to leave a few things behind here. But there are definitely a few things that I do want to grab just right now to have access to them on the ASAP. Sorry, booze. Another time. The rest of you, I shall return. I'll actually drink up some of this tea right now. Ooh, hold up. We definitely want the glue. As random as this sounds, we have a very great glue shortage going on currently in our world. So that has to be put away. And honestly, hold up. Where are the roids at? We're popping some of them, man. Because I do not want to be restricted in my run and speed. Ah, oh, there she is. Let's go and use that. That'll free up a little bit of inventory room. And uh, I'll just grab the Hunter Mod schematic for us to sell. And whoa! Freedom of movements no longer. We are not over encumbered. We're swole, baby! Ooh, star smash! But yeah, game plan from here is, uh, I reckon... Day 14, we spend kind of re-upping our defenses and making sure that our ammo supplies and everything are good. Bandolier is going to be a huge help just due to the fact that we will now be able to reload 30% faster, which is a pretty big deal. And all in all, I can't wait to put this M60 to the test. Because it does super high damage. Has a huge magazine capacity that we expanded with an extended mag. And just overall, it is the perfecto storm for dealing with large groups of zombies. Hello. Gotta do a little bit of target practice here. Make sure we're well versed for the horde coming up. Boop. Gotta love the laser sight too. It's super small and hard to notice. Especially after like I upload it to YouTube and YouTube processes the video. But it's right there, that little red dot that I am staring at. Might be a little bit more visible in the nighttime. Yeah, there you go. It's kind of swaying back and forth. Let's make sure to reload this puppy too. Man, dude, even that reload does feel faster. I know it's not by a ton, it's only 30%, but still. In a hectic situation, like when the horde strikes, it's gonna come in handy. Oh, speaking of which, I think today or tomorrow, I think the settlement, the trader is actually going to be getting a new supply of stuff. And so if we're lucky, we might be able to find, and this is the thing that I've been looking for for a while too, a normal shotgun. Because as much as I love my double barrel, I do want a pump shotgun. We don't have the skills really to create a good quality pump shotgun. So we are relying on ideally finding one of those because we can actually toss a wider variety of modifications on the pump shotgun and it can hold more than two bullets at a time. Not to bag on the double barrel, because two barrels of shotgun rain, oh, that's plenty in experienced hands like mine. But for now, we continue our journey throughout, weaving the houses left and right, and try to make our way back to the trader. Uh, should we make a pit stop and drop off a few things at home first? I think that might be a decent call. Our inventory is pretty full. I do love the fact that we are continuing to stockpile a nice little ammo supply, though. Uh, now the defensive supply just definitely got to make sure to reinforce the walls. I do want to obviously, as we continue moving forward, continue expanding. Uh, what should we call our actual defenses here? Getting like upgraded to concrete, like I was saying, the electrical system, all that type of jazz. But man, I just can't wait to unlock that freaking Jeep. Speaking of which, we got to make sure to get this steel smelting just a little bit more. That is the biggest roadblock currently. To us having the necessary tools to do what we want to do. Hey, we'll toss in half a stack of iron there. Half a stack of iron there. Grab some wood from right over here. And just make sure that we are being productive while I organize this mess. Boop. And let's make sure that we are crafting some more of that as well. Because the 4x4, well, the one missing component is going to take 375 of this. <laughs> That's 
That's a lot. And alrighty, the steel production continues going well. Let's make sure we continue crafting. We are approaching, and honestly, I think by the time the day 14 horde is over, we will have it just in time enough steel to get the job done. Hopefully, we'll have enough glue because we need glue to create more duct tape. Actually, we might even be able to buy some of that from the trader. And here's some of the goods that we are going to be bringing in addition to the supplies themselves that we are going to be bargaining with. Uh, let's make sure to put the lead away there over two and also a little bit of the coffee we're gonna try and actually scrap up some of these so we can get some of their respective parts which should sell for a decent little penny and uh well after that we'll take things from there i'm not gonna sell the boots yet just because i don't actually have enough mods to fully fill those four slots and i really want to fill those four slots because those are the seven days to die equivalent of gucci boots and uh yeah i'd like to get the premium on those baby but alrighty, let's make our way over to the trailer with a pretty good supply of money, 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 and stuff. That'll get us more money, money, money. We'll take the mini bike out for a ride. Haven't used this puppy in a little bit. Been a little bit deprived from our mini bike fun. And the trailer anxiously awaits our arrival, I'm sure. But yeah, y'all, we got that Jeep on the forefront. We got some upgraded base defenses entirely new areas to explore i'm still trying to find that elusive shotgun factory whose loot should be incredible obviously working our way towards the gyrocopter which is like the helicopter whether that be from buying one and saving up money or just crafting one eventually when that does become possible for us and of course potentially i don't know man just other cool locations we'll be able to loot up and great loot we'll be able to get and continue fending off these increasingly well more difficult hordes well Thank you, thank you, my good sir. Now, which one of these sells for more? Oh, the iron gloves. I'm taking those. Any other jobs? Still only tier two jobs. Wow, that one is literally 200 meters away. That is going to be a quickie. Joel, you son of a gun, I'm in. Now, I'm also in interested in what you got. Is there possibly... Oh... Different types of ammo. 762 ammo. How does that compare? It appears that it does block damage and actually penetrates. Not a lot of the ammo though, but I wouldn't mind actually blowing some money on stuff like that. But not now. Now is not the time. We could buy another forge. I could probably just craft another one of those. Not the biggest worry with that. He ain't got glue, dude. Hey, I ain't got glue. And actually, he did restock today. So if he does have anything good, it will be today for the next few days. Unfortunately, oh, a compound crossbow. I'm a little bit interested by that. Uh, whatchamacallit. Definitely interested in shelling some of the cash and these schematics that we have already learned, as you can tell from the open book icon. Some of our extra nerdy glasses that sell for 200 bucks a pop. We're almost at 30 grand. Shotgun parts. Yeah, I'll sell those. I don't really plan on crafting a shotgun because we can only craft a quality one shotgun unless we invest into some shotgun perks, which I don't plan on doing. I want to invest into other perks, potentially machine gun perks to craft full durability level six machine guns or level five. I forget which one's the highest that the ones that we can craft go up to. I don't know if we have to like loot level sixes specifically or buy them because like a yeah, little bit now. weird here, right? This might just be something that they forgot to include, but over at the Machine Gunner perk, level 4 perk, it says craft quality 5 great machine guns over there at the top. But the final level does not mention anything about level 6 machine guns. Although it does say each shot scored with automatic weapons gives you 6 stamina. Actually, each of these does give you a little bit of stamina starting at level 3. So kind of cool. As we shoot things, we will literally... Oh, we can reload fast, and then there's just so many benefits, and with the fact that we're investing into that M60 technology, it's going to be a pretty big deal. But all right, um, back to this. This compound crossbow. Mm, it's only level one, man. Maybe if it was higher, I'd be interested. We got the shotgun choke, which is going to be a pretty nice modification, low-key. I might just buy this one. It's only 400 bucks, and when we do find that elusive pump a shotgun i would like to actually have a shotgun choke on it because that just tightens the spread so it's more accurate so whoop, we'll make a little bit of a purchase today and he doesn't really have any good reading for us to get done so i'm not interested in that i don't think he has any reading really in here so yeah we're pretty done so gratitude and safe travels, gratitude to you safe travels and 
side of your settlement that you never leave. Ho oh. ho. Now, alrighty. I'm intrigued. Hold up, where's my mini bike? This location over here, incredibly close, plus that airdrop. Y'all, I'm just saying, we might have a productive dude. Hold up! Is that quest literally right by my house? Oh, bruh. I hope not. There's a slight chance we might not be able to do this quest. Oh, just kidding. It's it's our neighbors. Woo. We just gotta loot the neighbors. Dude, I was getting a little bit of a panic attack. Yeah, okay, dude. I was gonna say, because whenever you start one of those quests, it actually... It resets everything near the location. I was about to be like, bro, are you going to reset my base? No. We're good. We're good. We are tasked with clearing this area, so... Yeah, let's have a little bit of fun, yeah? I like clearing things. Let's get to it, shall we? It's literally right by here. We can just run on home. Once we're done with this, let's toss on our flashlight and... It gets ex... That's not scary at all. It gets exploring! Hello, zombies! How are you doing today? Are oh, you ready to die? Okay, they have a mushroom farm in their basement. I don't trust this ceiling. I've been in enough sketchy locations to know when something's up. Oh, I know there's hello. Come out of the closet. Come on, baby. There you go. Thank you for your cooperation. Dude, they're literally growing shrooms down here. What in tarnation? Uh, unrelated note. Can I harvest these? Oh. Listen, we can make some, uh, soup with these. Yeah, yeah, we can make some great soup with these if you ask me. Man, there's tons of freaking cement down here, too. I really should have brought that shovel that I completely forgot to bring. Ah, la, la, la. Dang, my goldfish memory. Bro, can I hit these mushrooms, please? These are the most evasive mushrooms of 2020. I also do see that secret door. If my goldfish memory holds up, I will loot that in just a few seconds. If not, please excuse me. I do have goldfish memory. Okay. There is a medium medical pile down here. A couple minor healing supplies. Nothing super crazy. I know the objective here is to kill things, but we'll loot them up too. And even though nighttime is coming, I mean, we got weapons. We got tons of ammo. Like, a huge stockpile of ammo. So, I don't honestly mind. I don't know. Being a bit extra. And, uh... Maybe, <gasps> yeah, uh, so this is kind of cool. It's pretty much like a knockoff shotgun. It's not that great, but we could utilize it a little bit. I am not breaking that. I don't think there's anything down there. JK, it just looked like there might be something down there. I guess I'll, honestly, I'll use my melee weapon until nighttime does strike. Then I'll transition to guns just because those will be a way safer call during a dangerous time like this. Mm. Hold up, do I have my wrench with me? I do. Does this give me anything good? This looks like iron and wood. Oh, hold up. And uh, forged iron too. I mean, I'll take it. This is a decent thing to actually go ahead and break. Oh, speaking of which, can I actually use my sledgehammer to break these cement bags? Maybe? Like, we get a little bit of cement out of them. I don't know if we would potentially get more from a shovel, though. So I might honestly keep these here. Oh, let's go. I can craft baseball bats. What a great novel. Thank you for this incredible knowledge that I will be using every day for the rest of my life. Indeed. What are you hiding, Mona Lisa? Ammo. Shotgun rain. Love to see it. I'll put that shotgun rain to use in this very house right here. In about 30 minutes when things start to get very sketchy. Because this does appear to be a sketchy home. Why? I don't know. I've already found zombies. And there's a giant hole in the ceiling. Hello. Oh, that's a spider zombie. You gotta go. Not trying to deal with you. Honestly, I'm just gonna speed run through here. We can loot it a little bit later. Let's focus on killing... And a few cartwheels if the zombies are that willing. Why do I feel like one of these freaking floors is about to break under me too? <laughs> level 27. Oh, we got two levels worth of skill points to use too. What's down here? Okay, so it looks like the flooring is actually relatively safe-ish. Ish. I'm not going to get too confident. 
We got one more floor over here. Lord, that sounds thick. Hello. Happy I can deal with you guys. Before nighttime's here. You're making my life so much better. Um, where do I go from here? I'm not really seeing a, a direction. Okay, I guess there's another hole that I could explore. A filled bathtub. Completely not sketchy. And alright, last few zombies to deal with. Or should I say last zombie? And uh, that painting is not creepy from the floor. There you go. What you know, what you know? Wait, what? I haven't cleared the area yet. What do you mean? Oh, uh, there is one more room here. I suppose. Oh, Lord! There's gonna be a lot of zombies here, isn't there? Oh! Oh, there's the strongest zombies in the house! Are they dead? Yeah, they dead. Bro, I still haven't cleared this area. How have I not cleared this a- Oh, the haunted attic. Uh, wish me luck. Hey, guys. What's up? What's up? Just for good measure. Shoot his foot off and woohoo! This is officially a zombie free zone! Oh, I had my lucky goggles on during that all. Unfortunate. Oh, weapons bag! That's fortunate. Let's. Ah, uh, no, man. I do like the four times scope mod, weighted head mod. I believe I can actually toss onto this thing over here. Yes, I can. I always thought the weighted head mod could only go on like a sledgehammer for some reason. I saw some of y'all point that out in that comment section. Huge shouts out to y'all. Thank you for that. And yeah, the loot is looking good. We even got this nice little uh, hole to peek out up from. That's not a hole I'm trying to explore at the moment, though. Please leave a message. Let's freaking go after the beep. Woo! And the good loot continues coming our way. Skull, skull cap mod. I guess I could put that on a... I, I, it's a okay, okay, it's a hat mod of some sort. That will be very nice to repair. Definitely going to repair and potentially sell this AK if its base damage is not higher. Bunker Buster mod will be decent. And this stuff I will scrap for time being. I do not plan on selling those. Uh, let's go ahead and break into some of these chests. Then we'll kind of cascade our way down. See what other loot that we did miss along the way. Because I know for a fact we did miss some decent looking loot. That's not decent loot. That is rotting flesh. Human or zombie don't care. I'm not exactly a connoisseur of the uh, rotting flesh. Oh, let's go. That's a nice stockpile of mechanical parts. I'll drink a little bit of water. Get rid of some of that broken glass. Clear up some unnecessary inventory room. I don't actually I'll keep the empty glasses for now. Uh, I'll keep the wrench and probably toss that in our furnace when we get back. Toss some of those wooden blocks into inventory. And okay, back down the floor we go. What you know, what you know. What you got in store for me, Mr. Attic? Are you out of loot? Man, I was having such a fun time up here. Eh. I'll also get rid of the cornmeal. Continue eating up some of the small unnecessary stuff. Uh, scrap a few things here and there. Oh, hello. Almost missed this. Ah, oh, just a purse. Eh. It's got money. I like that. Besides that, though... I mean, we obviously got the huge loot stockpile at the end of the location, which was always, like, one of, if not the biggest draws of every locate. Let's freaking go! It might be the biggest draw, but there's still some decent stuff along the way. Bookcase here? Man, a book I already know about. I'll just get rid of this, some of that leather. I know I scrapped some armor to get that. Uh, it doesn't. I said, I'm just trying to prioritize this loot here. Because day 14 is almost upon us, so efficiency is of the utmost importance. Time efficiency, that is. It's an art that I don't usually excel at, but... Drastic times. Call for drastic measures. Can I please collect this bag? Thank you. Scrap. Eh, $16 worth of painkillers. Scrap and collect. Anything on the other side? A suitcase. Yes. Nice pants. Are those better than my pants? They're exactly the same, but purple. 
Purple is a cool color, but nah, I like my pants. I've already broken them in, you know? All right. Um. Oh. oh! I was going to say there's some bookshelves. Oh, no. No. Oh, man. I want the bookshelves. <laughs> there's some bookshelves up there that we hopefully will be able to get into. Where hopefully we can either learn some more recipes and or books and or perks. Or just get some books we've already learned, which usually tend to sell for like a hundred bucks a pop. Why? Dude, there's so many hidden little things, man. Love to capitalize on them, but it does have me questioning things. Who designed this home? Hey, that's the only question I got for now. I'm sorry. I'll try to think of some more. Eh, scrap. Nothing there, nothing there. All right. So this floor continues looking pretty clear. Yeah, it's just a window up there. Oh, we got this secret compartment here. Rotting sports bag? Eh, it's just a stone spear. We literally found a steel one a little bit earlier. Not the end of world. Okay, yeah. Now this over here. Parkour! I can't believe that buffed out. I'll take it. Oh, lucky looter. Oh, just finding more junk. I mean, I guess I'll take it, but oof. Now we do have these two things over here. I'll probably just that, that just that's not a lot of cement. There's literally no money's worth of cement. And these wooden frame blocks, also pretty worthless. The blunderbuss I just want to keep for funsies, man. Eh. I'll, I'll drink up a little bit of yucca juice, honestly. We're getting a little bit thirsty. A little bit of hydration here and there never hurt nobody. And we'll collect that for selling purposes. And I believe that is all that this room had in store for us. I do hear some zombies. I'm not worried about fall damage because I got that perk that protects me for like 15 meters. As long as I got 10 grand in my pocket. The most high roller freaking ankle protector in the world. Oy vey. But I do hear some zombies on the outdoors that we need to be a little bit cautious of. But that's some caution we'll, got th we'll have to exercise in the next episode. A seven days to die off the 18 a point of four because that's gonna go in and start bringing an end to this episode for me for now when we return we'll make our way out of here i do want to check out that airdrop and obviously day 14 is almost here well actually no it is here tonight things hit the fan y'all and uh hopefully we're well prepared for it but time will tell but with that said with that done that's gonna let us all wrap it up Follow me for now. Thank you guys for holding for watching. Hi, this was an awesome one. And I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.